small fruit production class. We are learning how to prune raspberries, learning all about raspberries, and um, our professor over here is showing us how to prune our raspberries. It's not like a paintbrush. So, we I just keep... Play ball with it yeah, you just, yeah, just chop it all off. Whatever goes in. So, but basically when we go around, like I said, this is in, we start to work our way in. Now, yeah, I know this one's dying, but let's pretend it's not. Let's ignore him. In comparison to the other canes, would this be one of the canes if it was alive? No, because we can spin this one. We're going to remove it. You want to be wise with life this, but this is a good little setup. you got the nice posts, so everything. Those are all the anchors that we use on the uh, they, field over here, too. Right, those, all those posts are reused. You're yeah. fitting them from the apples and peaches and whatever. Uh, else. Well, they, Even just this field here. Yeah, they were putting that oh, field. That yeah. field to here. Oh, you had an old we field. kept the wires straight and carried the wires yeah. over. And Your backgrounds in, but like you know, a lot of like I'm, I'm competitive, strictly wholesale commercial background. So, what's another aspect when we are here? Now, we have what you pick. you pick. So, what's important to us as well? People walking, people walking, aesthetics, things like that. So, whenever you take that into consideration, people like to see clean farms at you pick. So, like, this, this is a very presentable situation. Raspberries have a yeah, that's okay. Like, yeah, she was just saying these are thornless. You might think they might be thorn. These are actually they're very mild. And they're, this is a typical thornless raspberry, so this is really nice. Did you put any uh, just like blackberries in there? Yeah, we did. Size of the cane and the bud development. So, what are we going to leave for this year to give us fruit? So, when we come through here, we're going to look at some of this, okay? Now, some of this, though, just to show you guys, because this is an older floor cane, if we had a lot of robust structure, we're going to come in here. Remember how we talk about heading some of these branches back a little bit? Okay? You can come in here. So, just for example, we really don't want these reaching out past into the row growing. We don't really don't want anything more than 18. With the grower's preference and grow size. But so something like this, okay, like how do you know if that's 18 to 24 inches? Eyeball. Eyeball. You just got an eyeball. Well, if you're learning like you guys are, what's a good way? What lot of you do with it? What are you doing? This is, is an excellent example when you're teaching somebody, right? Because we got right here, we got a nice piece of I'm going to say that you know, it's inches from here to here. And we really don't want anything longer than our pruner handle coming out. So something like this. And you don't need to do anything fancy. We just might head it back just a little bit like that. And that's going to stiffen that up. Now, when we do go through later, the best thing with the trellis is that we can do is we can come through these little spindly ones. We're going to tie them down lower. Okay. That way they grow. And then that way we can separate our pruning structure. Because when we come through in the future, if all of our primatines are tied to here, during the summer season, our four caves at the top, what do we tell our guys? Fruit. Get rid of what's on the top, and we'll train the products. So, a lot of it comes with, it's a multi-stage. And also, when we come through, usually the blackberries are doing more, but you can do some tipping. You can come through in the summertime, and you can tip something off the top here. What's that going to do? Lateral growth. Because the more surface area I have, the more fruit, fruit 